Hey folks, back on the bench. We're going to want to do a few short videos over the coming weeks on the Arduino Giga, the Giga R1 Wi-Fi board. Um, got a few questions from some longtime viewers on it, and yeah, I am really want to dig into this thing. It's just a matter of finding time. But uh, I can see this easily replacing quite a few projects I have where I have like the Uno tied in with a Raspberry Pi zero on some projects or a zero W on others. I have one that where I have the, um, I have the Uno as the actual, it sounds stupid. I know somebody's going to be like, well, why did you do that? The project was originally done on an Uno and I wanted to add in some additional functions like data logging and et cetera without adding a ton of components. So the Pico became the data logger. Anyway, <laughs> it's just kind of silly, but that's how, you know, organic growth, right? Right off the bat, the boys had asked a question about adding the Giga to the IDE, to Arduino IDE. They're both using Unos and have never added another board. So I figured I would start that. Oh, wait, we're on the wrong monitor. <laughs> I need to upgrade to the two series anyways. So we will go ahead and do that. So we're installing Arduino IDE from scratch. Not a big deal, but got to do it. Okay. Okay, so there we go. We're done with that part of it. So let's go ahead and start up. Again, now I literally just upgraded from 1.8 whatever to, to, to the 2 series for Arduino IDE, so it takes it a minute to fire up the first time. I'm going to unplug my mouse jiggler here so you don't have to look at it bouncing around. And we are waiting. <laughs> I can tell by CPU usage we're working. It's loading up. I have noticed that the 2.0 series is a little slow, even on my uh, i7 machines, it's a little slow. <laughs> wow. Always quick when we go through all this crap. Precondition library later, updates are available. You know, you would think now, because this is a fresh install and a fresh download, that would, it would be updated. Right? Am I right? Am I right? The fresh download from the Arduino's website about five minutes ago, or five, five minutes prior to installing, and uh, it's already out of date. That is bizarre. Okay, so we're updated. So we want to come up and go to Board Manager, right? So it's Tools, Board, Boards Manager. And right in here, see, you can see there's nothing selected, nothing installed. We're going to, wow, it's kind of hard to find the search in the dark background. And we're just going to search for Giga. OS, right? You can choose manually or you can search for it. At the moment, it looks like we only have one version available. So we'll just go ahead and install that. I open the more info for me to read later. I highly recommend that you actually read these over time, <laughs> especially with new releases or as you're adding new controllers or new boards, whichever. Do, 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 do. And again, that's all we're going to do here is we're just going to do this install. I'm going to load it. I will plug it in. Make sure that it's visible down here where it says board selected. And that's where we'll stop for today. <laughs> Quick and dirty video, but I'm just going to try and do these as I have time available. And then I have to work for a project to find a project to build with this. 
Holy crap, guys. How much stuff are you going to install? There we go. Now we're installed. So, I'm going to come over. I'm going to grab my USB-C cable. I'm going to plug it in. We're going to let Windows find it. Work email, don't mind that. Already I'm noticing something I didn't actually catch in the instructions or in the uh, description. There is a tricolor in, uh, LED on the board. Green, blue, red. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It's just sitting here looping around at me. All right, so we're done. Why don't we take a look at tools board? Embed Gigas, Arduino Giga 1. Let's tools. Just kind of poking around here. Interesting, it says the board is not connected. Why is the board not connected? It most certainly is connected. Let's plug it back in. I figured because it added its own port that it would have understood where it's located because we just installed drivers specifically for the port. So again, they've not added any form of logic to actually go, oh, it's over here on this port. Let me save the user a step. <laughs> oh, so it actually did pull in a couple of previous sketches for me. Everything looks pretty much the same. But yeah, so we know we're there. We'll just go ahead and get the board info real quick. So if you've watched my videos in the past, you've seen there's quite a few boards where you don't even get the the board number or the board description show up. But I do like the fact that the little tricolor LED. Anyway, that's it for now. We are working and the board is there. And we were able to actually get our board info so we know we're good to go all right folks that's it i'll try and get a video out in the next few days and we'll run a sketch on it and i'll show some just a quick overview of the board maybe a top-down camera view and just talk a little bit more about the giga but yeah i'm really excited for this board all right folks that's it we will see you soon be good be well